Welcome to Flutter Teacher. In this video, we will learn the Flutter create command along with the overview option. So without wasting time, let's get started. Before I start this video, let me explain in how many ways a Flutter application can be created. First one is by using the command prompt. For this, open the command prompt and write the command called Flutter create. Now make sure that Wherever you use this flutter create command along with name of the project, that specific project will be created in the path where you have opened the command prompt. The second option is inside the terminal of your VS code. For this, open the VS code, click on the terminal option and just type here command flutter create along with the name of project. Here also make sure that the path that we have selected for creating the project, your project will be created at that specific path. The third option is just click on this view, click on the command palette and just type the command flutter and now here you will find option called flutter new project. When you click on this, there will be several options to create the flutter. So out of this, we have to select the application. Thereafter, it will ask you the folder where your project has to be created. After selecting the project, it will ask you the name of application to be created and it will create your application successfully. I personally prefer to create Flutter application using the command prompt. Now let's understand the Flutter create command. For this, open the command prompt and type Flutter create and thereafter we have to specify the name of application that you want to create. When we use this approach to create the project, for this project the package name will be com.example by default. Let me tell you the importance of package name. When we upload the application in the Play Store, your application is actually identified by the package name, not by the name of your application. So you must be very careful by selecting the package name so that it has to be unique when you upload it to the Play Store. Now you might have questioned, by default this approach gives you the package name called com.example, then how I can specify the specific package name? For this, just watch this video till the end. Hit the enter button and it will create your first underscore app app for you. Now I have opened this first underscore app app inside this VS code. Then click on Android folder. Then click on this app folder. Click on the folder src. Click on the folder main inside which you will find a file called android memphis.xml click on this file you can see this com.example is a package name that you get by default and this first underscore app is actually the name of application that we have created when we create a flutter application it is actually possible to specify your custom package name for this we have to write flutter create then two hyphens and the org this org actually stands for the organization that is the package of your flutter application the package name is mostly preferred as the rival cell of your domain name for example if your domain name is google.com then it is preferred as com.google com.flutter.teacher that i have specified is actually the package name that i want for my project and the second underscore epp is actually the name of project that i want to create now in this case this specific project that is second underscore epp it will be created inside the package called com.flutter.teacher hit the enter button and create the application now you can see i have opened this second underscore epp app inside this vs code now click on the folder android then click on the folder app click on src Click on the folder main. Now here you will find a file called android-manifest.xml. Just open this file and now the observable thing here is for this package it is showing com.flutter.teacher which is actually the package name that I want for my project and second underscore app is actually the application name that I have specified while creating the Flutter application. You might have a question, is it possible to update the package name even after creating the application? I will say yes, it's possible. For this purpose, we have to modify the package name in various files. So it might be a little difficult for the beginners. That's it for this video. If you really found this video helpful and knowledgeable, then don't forget to like, share, 
subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos.